Nevada is facing pressure to ban smoking in casinos. That is according to a new poll showing 60% of residents support ending indoor smoking in gaming facilities. And now advocacy groups are seeking change for patrons and employees. Taylor Burke has more on the push. At the end of 2006, the Nevada Indoor Clean Air Act went into effect, banning smoking inside to protect workers from secondhand smoke. However, this law specifically excludes casinos. We have over 100,000 workers across the state um, in Nevada that work in the casinos. Nicole Chacon with the Smoke Free Coalition tells me this loophole makes it so casino employees have to choose between their health and a paycheck. We have so many workers who don't get that choice and that they you know, they have to earn a living, they have to um, pay for their health insurance, they have to pay to put food on the table, they have all the same bills that all the rest of us have, and, and while we're covered in our workplaces, they are not. Chacon would like to see all of Nevada's workers protected. Workers like Paula Larson-Schuster, who has been a dealer for the last 30 years. I've had smoke blown in my face, I've had cigars blown in my face, and you have to realize a dealer's table is a half circle, and the dealer is at the center of that half circle. So when people are smoking, you have five or more people blowing smoke directly in your face day after day. Larson Schuster's experience has made her want to become an anti-smoking advocate. She now serves as president for United Auto Workers, who represent about 3,000 casino workers at resorts like MGM, Caesars, and The Wynn. We're actually considered on our insurance as smokers, even though we don't smoke. The secondhand smoke has caused Larson Schuster's asthma to flare up consistently. She has also had to watch her co-workers suffer from heart attacks and bronchitis. Having had enough, she says we need to get with the times. When I was a child, I rode a bicycle without a helmet. You wouldn't let your child ride a bicycle without a helmet now. So why should we be exposed to the toxic chemicals that they now know are in secondhand smoke? And casinos have been pushing back, saying that smoke-free casinos would hurt revenue and cost jobs. However, some research shows that smoke-free casinos generate more revenue and outperform competitors that allow smoking.